Hello and welcome to this third video in the series of HL7 messaging tutorials where we focus on HL7 message types of the MSH9. Because HL7 is designed to work with many different sectors of the medical software industry, it is not surprising that different types of messages are needed to express different collections of information. The message type is critical for filtering out messages that are not relevant to a particular application. If we take a look in the HL7 soup sample messages, we see an indication of what each message is about. Headings like document notification, patient referral, and register a patient clearly indicate the intended use of this message. But how does HL7 soup know this? More importantly, how can you know this when looking at a message? Well, it's always in the same place, the MSH9. After working with HL7 for a while, you'll find it easy to spot. But if you're new to it, you can always right click on the message type header and you'll be taken straight to it. One of the first things you're going to notice is that even though HL7 soup tells you this message is for registering a patient, the actual HL7 message says no such thing. Instead, the more computer friendly ADT caret AO4 is written in the message. Fortunately, HL7 Soup provides you a convenient drop-down to help you out. Scrolling through this list gives you a directory of every message type that HL7 supports. It is worth noting though that I'm only scrolling through the first component of the MSH9. This is just the ADT section, not the AO4 part. A quick side note. Unlike most HL7 message types, the description of ADT message isn't particularly intuitive. It actually stands for Admission, Discharge and Transfer, but everyone who works with HL7 just calls it ADT. Setting the first component helps you to filter out what's available for the second component, the MSH 9.2, the event type. Here is the real nitty gritty of what the message is doing. The AO4 is the specific part of the message that says to register a patient. And so we see that the MSH 9.2's description is actually what HL7 Soup uses to represent the message. What the MSH 9.1 component has done for us is to provide a filter. So we only see ADT type events in this dropdown. So all of the event types that we see here are just for the ADT message type. You can optionally use the segments grid on the right to view the full list of MSH 9.2 in its entirety. As you can see, this is quite a large and comprehensive list. Searching through this list can be a very effective technique for finding message types that suit your needs. You may have noticed that some of the sample messages have message type codes that are longer than others. One such as this ADT caret AO4 caret ADT underscore AO1 have a third component section, the MSH 9.3, that seems to add nothing to the message type other than confusion. Is this message event type AO4 or is it an AO1? The answer is quite simply that it is an AO4, but the message structure is the same as an AO1. The message structure along with the message version in MSH 12 enables computer software to validate that the message conforms to a particular structure and can prevent poorly formed HL7 messages being processed by their system. Because many of the AOX messages have exactly the same composition requirements, the MSH 9.3 creates a way of reducing the required schema definition size by allowing different message types to share identical structure. In order to see the message structure for the current message, just click on the message type name. Here you can see every segment type that is valid for this type of message. You can see, for instance, that this message requires exactly one PID, or patient detail section, but could have zero or more NK1 or next of kin details. You can also see that some segments come in groups. For instance, the IN1, or insurance details, could also be supplemented with an IN2, IN3, and a role segment, providing additional details. It's also worth noting that a short description of each of the segments is available if you mouse over the segment code. Remember, you can download a free 30-day trial of HL7 Soup from www.hl7soup.com which will help you through this tutorial series. If these tutorials have helped you, then please do me a favour and click like. 
You can also subscribe to this channel so you are notified as soon as new ones come out.